everybody asking for Kadena. So I just got off of Proton here. Let's go straight to KDA price analysis. And what I'll do here is I'll do kind of like an if then statement. I will uh, I will say if Bitcoin pumps, then this is your target. Things to that effect. But uh, before I zoom way in here, okay, you have two different things going on here. Actually, three. You have horizontals, which KDA is kind of playing a horizontal right now. So horizontal, horizontal. These blue, the the lines angled this way are the trading channel in which nearly 100% of price action of all trading volume has been near almost 100% has been in since its top. So the lines going this way are very significant because almost 100% of all trading has been within the lines and have respected those lines to a certain degree, right? So hit the top, hit the bottom, go straight to the point of control, pretty common. Or go straight down and then have a failure rejection pattern uh, within the point of control and then and then get above. Like, you know, th these lines are being respected. So that's what these lines. Now, the yellow lines are your origin lines. This is young enough of an asset where these origin lines might be trumped by the channel lines. So the yellow lines might not be as significant as the lines going this way. All right. From a mid macro standpoint. It might be on equal footing, but they're all each going to be important. So that's that's the making sense of the chaos you're getting ready to see as we dive in here. OK, so my previous target right here. Uh, well, this I actually thought it was going to wick up to here. It did not. It came up a little shy. So let's get rid of these guys. It did exactly what Bitcoin did, though. It went above a channel line, hit a horizontal then made a lower high at a channel line and then went down. So this is moving fairly closely. This this is uh, since Bitcoin 17,500 low in, in mid-June. This has been moving right with Bitcoin. Uh, all right. Huh. I wonder how well... I wonder which 200 EMA on what time frame is like your is your best fit line on Kadena. It almost looks like the 15 minute. Let's go to the 30. I don't know. Even if Bitcoin bounces. I think this will either get rejected by the one hour 200 or wick above and get rejected at a dollar 60, you know, dollar 63 at this channel line could then come down, make a higher low and then try to come up. But an immediate move, I could see it getting attracted to a dollar 60 or a dollar 63. So the one hour 200 EMA or the channel line a dollar 63 and then pulling back significantly uh, from there. Uh, how much? Yeah, that, that'd be a yeah, 6% is definitely tradable. Um, if Bitcoin bounces from here, so if Bitcoin bounces, which I tech, I do think it has a stronger chance to do over the next two days. Over the next two days, my immediate targets for Kadena is a dollar, a dollar sixty, and a dollar sixty-three for upside targets. Would I? Are those targets specific for? Let's go all in shorting there. No, but if you're trading to the upside. You know, if I actually, if I were trading to the upside, that's probably where I'd be interested in closing my longs and looking for a re-entry on a higher low if I think things are still bullish, right? I, I don't know how good of short signals those will be, uh, per se. They could end up being perfect short signals, really, but um, but uh, those are my immediate uh, price targets. Now, the key, key things um, that could really... Um, Honestly, Kadena looks like it might stay in this damn, it might stay here for a while. What might happen is Kadena goes sideways until it hits this top channel line. And remember, folks, when most of my viewers were like totally brand new in crypto back in March of 2021, when I was talking about BPRO and I, during the day it hit its top, I was making a video as and I was watching recording, it hit the top. I wrote, I made mention that like, this is probably it, right? 
uh, 32 minutes in on March 16th. If you want to go watch that video, I called the top on VPro. Exactly. Um, but, uh, and I mentioned there just a, a, about a minute later, or maybe even two minutes, I don't know. But in that video, I mentioned VPro will likely, you know, I said it'll go down, but then go sideways until it hits another trend line. And that's what happened. Right, it went sideways and it went down, but then bounced around sideways for months. And it, I don't know, it almost looks like that's what is going to happen here. So the real play might be a horizontal range, but the timing of that, of when this is going to get resolution of this horizontal range, it might be this line. Now, if the economic data is bad, yeah, the timing, which uh, drives things down, it could be, you know, a spike up to here. It gets trapped under this channel line and above, but above. So you're, you're playing ping pong between that line and that. Here, let's zoom in. The timing of when this gets resolution could be this line here around August 2nd, when this line pushes price out because price can't get above this line. So if price can't get above this line and, and as, as time goes on, where does it have to go? It has to go down and aggressively. It'll come straight down to this yellow line like hard it'll come straight down there and it could happen exactly at this juncture but it might happen a little before however i think Kadena is in the situation where if the economic data really is you know not compelling either way and the market doesn't know how to react Kadena can move right along with that and also it has the ability to go sideways for a long time so if it does go sideways for a long time i mean you'd probably just play top and bottom and point of control of a sideways range for your basis. Along the bottom, short the top, take some profit in the middle. And if you have to enter in the middle, you do it lightly. It could be the way to play it. Um, what else could drive price below this line is the one hour 200 EMA. Look, look at this. And this is literally folks it's the most magical line in all of crypto hint i swear <laughs> it is amazing just the 200 ema in general like even the five minute 50 minute it's amazing you should probably use it but here on Kadena, the one hour if you're below it it's bad and if you're below it and you go up to it you're probably going to get rejected until the point you finally break above and use it as support. So until you break above use as support, you're probably going to get rejected. So, yeah, I mean, just look at this simple rule. Here, it kind of hovered on both sides, right? So it did kind of a squiggly type of deal. But right now, what is it doing? It's below it. Has it gotten, how has it gotten rejected? Yeah, once, twice. So if it comes up. It could do a failure pattern because I, I think it could want to reach up to here, the wick above and come right back down. So it might not be a strict rejection. It might be more of a fit like this. This is a failure pattern. Well, that's actually not a good example. Uh, so that's almost a perfect rejection. Where's a good fit? This is a good one right here. So these are two failures in a row. So it's got rejected and fa a big failure. That's a very, so this like, see how it reached so much higher than this because it wanted to touch this horizontal. I think something like this, a big failure above this line, and then a rejection, and then a failure, and then a rejection. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think it, I think you could either get a straight up rejection or a big failure above that orange line, and the failure would essentially tap this. But but what could push price of Kadena down very fast is if this, if, if, if this one hour 200 EMA continues to be used as resistance and pushes prices below there, it's going straight to here. And if it comes straight here, it'll say to itself, well, this line is just here, so I might as well touch this too. And it'll go straight to $1.30, most likely. It'll probably bounce somewhere at $1.31 and then squiggle, squiggle, then come touch this at $1.30. But it'll hit this triangle. If, and that's an if, I can't say this enough. I'm not guessing that is my main guess. Let me be specific. But if price cannot get above the one hour 200 EMA, very, very likely. It's going. All right. And that should get you through. I mean, really, yeah, that should get you through with Kadena for the next, I don't know, 10 to 15 days. 